Well, what is up, Next Level Church family? Hey, welcome to day number 10 of our 40 days of prayer. And I just want you to know I'm so proud of you. I'm so thankful for you. I'm so excited and expectant for, for all that God wants to do in you and through you during these 40 days of prayers. Can you believe we're already 10 days in? And my goodness, what a cool thing it is to just see and already hear the testimonies of, of breakthroughs and of, of new um, uh, thoughts and new ideas and, and new uh, just, you know, breakthroughs even in our own, our mindsets of, of all that God is up to in our life. And so today, I just want to encourage you to pray bold prayers. Come on, let's pray bold prayers. Let's don't grow weary in doing good. For in due season, the Bible says, we will reap a harvest if we do not faint. And so uh, that makes me think of a story in Luke chapter 18 of a woman who Jesus told the story of this woman who came to a judge. And she basically says to the judge, uh, you know, I want you to, you know, grant me, you know, justice to my adversary and just, you know, come on, act on my behalf. And the judge just kind of ignores her and he just kind of puts her off and puts her off and puts her off. And then finally, here's what Jesus says. I love this in verse five, Luke chapter 18, verse five. Jesus said, yet, because this widow keeps bothering me, this is the judge talking, I will see that she gets justice so that she won't eventually come and attack me. In other words, Jesus is saying, hey, listen, there's something to persistence in prayer. There's something to persistence in our lives. And I just want to encourage you. Some of you, you're praying for things in your life. You're praying for situations and circumstances that it's been years. Some of you, you're facing something and it's been decades. And I just want you to, I just want to encourage you as your pastor, come on, let's keep persevering. Let's persist in our prayer. God's with us. God's for us. God is working. We don't serve a do-nothing God. We serve a do-something God. And God is working on your behalf. And so I just want to encourage you, knock and keep on knocking. Come on, pray and keep on praying. Keep persisting. Don't give up. Some of you, the devil's been putting lies in your head just this week over the last couple days going, this prayer thing, it doesn't mean anything. And you, you can't trust God. You can't believe God for that. Hey, I want you to know something. Those are lies. Come on. The truth is we serve a God who answers bold prayers. So come on. We pray boldly because God answers bold prayer. And that's what we're doing. So listen, God's listening to us when we pray. Even when it feels like he's not around or he's not moving, God is on the move. So come on, everybody. I want you to lift your voice right where you are. If you're in the car, lift your voice. If you're at your office, come on, lift your voice and pray. If you're in the hallway, lift your voice. If you're at home, lift your voice and let's seek our God together. God, thank you for day 10. Thank you for an opportunity like this to seek your face and to pray. God, your word says that if we will knock and keep on knocking, that you, like this judge, We'll, we'll, if we'll persist, you'll come through. And so, Lord Jesus, we ask you, God, for greater persistence. Lord, I pray for perseverance, Lord. Your word says to let perseverance have its perfect work. In other words, let it accomplish what it's supposed to do. So, God, I pray for those right now who have been lifting requests to you for years. Some of us, it's been months. Some of us, it's been decades. And, Lord God, I pray that you would not only work in those circumstances like we're asking you to, but more than that, God, I pray that you would use those circumstances to do a deep work in us. Lord, you're, you're up to trying to change our hearts, our lives, our minds. So God, I pray right now for each and every one of these requests. Lord, I pray for those who need a miracle in a relationship. Father, I pray right now in the name of Jesus that you would bring, begin to bring breakthrough. God, I pray that you would bring humility on both sides of that relationship and that walls would come down, that humility and, and apologies and forgiveness would begin to flow freely in that relationship and that understanding and lines of communication would open. God, you see these needs, Lord. I pray for health needs, Lord. I pray for miracles, Jesus. I pray for restoration in bodies, in minds, God, bring restoration in minds today, Lord. You've given us a sound mind. I pray a sound mind over your children today. God, I thank you for times like this that we can pray. I thank you for a focused 40 days of prayer. We seek your face. We pray boldly today with all confidence, not in ourselves or our own strength or anything we can or can't do. We pray and seek our, your face with your confidence, dwelling and living in our heart. I bless your people today in Jesus' name. Amen.